This is our inner rope sprayer. It's probably one of the most advanced pieces of equipment we have. It's controlled by a robotic hydraulic arm. And what happens here is these uh, shields actually run between the rows and spray between the rows so we can spray Roundup and not get any uh, uh, material on the trees. And if we come around here to the front, it includes the paths that are in between the trees. We can see the uh, one path there. And what that, that arm actually will fold back, and there'll be a video of that that you guys will see where it actually goes around the irrigation head right there. And as you come up here, if you see that little gold looking thing there, there's an actual camera on the uh, front of the unit that tracks the trees. And I'll show you the inside later and those wheels support individual arms to maintain the correct height when we're spraying here and the whole unit is supported by these big wheels and obviously a tank if we come around to the other side here we'll be able to see the electric pump that runs the whole thing right here on the side and uh last but not least we have a arm this is actually designed to run two units at one time, but we only bought one to try it. And we had to counterbalance the weight because it does weigh pretty heavy. Each one of those arms is quite heavy. This is our view from inside the cab. We have a computer that's hooked into that uh, camera so that we can see what it's tracking. If you can see on this uh, screen right here, there are four green lines and we what we have to do is line those up with the uh, four middle rows, the trees, it's an eight row bed. And then the unit itself will, will uh, track those rows and, and adjust the uh, sprayer left and right automatically with hydraulics to make sure that we stay in between the rows and don't spray the trees. Um, it also has a few fancy features here that we can set an offset. So say we're watching it and it looks like it's running a little bit to the to the left we can we can tell the camera that hey you're a little to the left we need to uh, change it to the right and that's controlled with these arrow buttons right here and we can change the offset by a centimeter at a time um, get that back to zero okay and then uh, this is basically my view from the cab here I got a pressure gauge so I can see where um, what my pressure is this is an actual a unit from England, so it's a metric, so we're running about one bar, just to make things easy. And I can't, as you can tell, I can't see a whole lot what's going on here, so I end up using the mirrors on the tractor here, so I can see where my sprayer is to make sure that it's tracking correctly.